So I will just expand my luck with this by building my own private walls and cross my heart that he does not come check around here. I cannot believe this right now. They actually did not end up checking me. What a great day to be me is it not? Man chameleons are great creatures. I wish that I could be one of them one day. To just be able to be hiding in plain sight. That would make me straight up amazing at murder mystery. I could definitely get into that, even though it would be rather unfair for my opponents. But I've got a plan my young viewers. I am going to become one of them and I will be able to become a shapeshifter, or at least some kind of color magician. I really have no idea. They are with me through this. It worked. Right. I mean, I am stone. Alright I am not in the shot right now. Hasaik I got you guys there did I not? That was amazing. So yeah basically I cannot shape shift into a lot of things on my own command. I really do need to have some practice runs with this before I actually am able to fully utilize this ability. But like I said, with some practice runs I think that I would be perfectly able to just do anything that I can and be ready for my life as a meta-human shapeshifter. Dr. Xavier I am starting to pack my bags and come live at the X-Men mansion. Alright, that would be pretty freaking cool right? But you know what would even be cooler? Well surviving all of this right now. So I will have to make sure that I can utilize my new superpower, and make sure that I can kill some of these guys. Uh well I mean not kill. But you know, incapacitate them so that they cannot hurt me and that would make me the winner. Is that a valid thing to say? Oh wait there is my first victim I mean my first opponent coming up already. I have to make sure that I can finish this guy before anything bad happens to me. Because maybe I will lose my abilities when I die. Who knows? I have no idea but you know. Who knows? Alright I will just start using my abilities right here. And it looks like the guy has no idea that I'm here. Oh wait never mind he is shooting arrows at me. But how can he even see me? I am literally blended in with the wall. Okay apparently I am not as well hidden as I would have though but you know. That just means that I now get the chance to eliminate this guy from my opponent list. I feel like such a bad boy saying all of that stuff right now. Oh my god why? I cannot believe this dude right now. I mean he was just full out blatantly cheating right now. There is no doubt about it. This was just cheating. I blended in with that wall like completely. I was completely covered like that chameleon in the beginning of the video and somehow he was still able able to see me and kill me with that amount of confidence. I will get my revenge on you, whoever you are because I did not pay any attention to your name but that does not matter. Because I will sense whenever you are near me, and I will be filled with anger. And you all know that anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering and blah blah dark side. So I would be able to use the dark side on this guy and I would completely demolish him never to be found again. That would be amazing. That way I would be able to use the force, and be able to shapeshift like a chameleon. That is like having the best of both worlds right. I would be like a Minecraft chameleon look-alike with dark side force abilities. I do not think that George Lucas would be able to come up with that himself. And he is the man who invented Jar Jar Binks and brought him into the franchise. What a horrible man he is. But enough about Jar Jar we need to run right now otherwise this guy will just split us in half because there is nowhere to hide and shapeshift into time. I mean the shape shifting takes quite some time you guys. Have you ever even seen a chameleon? I mean it takes some time, but I mean you get what you pay for. You insert some time and the end result is amazing. We have got to be quick about this by the way. I still have got my ender pearl so I can teleport. And now we are in the lead in this race. I mean it is not literally a race. I mean I have to kill these guys to win it. So it is like a less friendly version of Mario Kart but then with the essence laying on the killing instead of the racing. Yeah that is pretty much it. This sounds about right now does it not? And they are still chasing me. Do I literally have to tell this guy that we are not actually racing but we are just trying to not die in here? At least that is what I am trying. I really do not care if they all die because that would crown me the victor of this matchup. Come on sub you can use another ender pearl right now. And of course I teleport right into this guy who is swinging around his freaking sword. Well that did not work out the way that I wanted it to. But I guess that I cannot complain about that all too much. Since I basically already was living on borrowed time by just running around the battlegrounds for half an hour. Okay not literally half an hour but at least it was kind of close I guess. But you know. Who knows? At least I know that I do not know. Those were a lot of no's. I will stop now. Or will I? Yeah, I will I am sorry. But what can we do? 
we can of course run to the other contestants and see if we are able to destroy them. And this temple would be the right fit for that. I mean it is basically built to my likings. I really look like this building, so I would be virtually invisible to these guys right? That is awesome. For the time being he has not seen me yet. So I will just expand my luck with this by building my own private walls and cross my heart that he does not come check around here. I cannot believe this right now. They actually did not end up checking me. What a great day to be me is it not? I mean the shape shifting is really working out for the best right now. Let's see if I can actually push this ability to its limits and check what else I can do with all of this. I think that over time I would be able to do some other things than just stone but who knows. Maybe someday I am able to just shape shift into literally everything that I would want and at that point I would be the most powerful being alive. I could go around and play murder mystery and kill everybody and they would not even have the slightest clue about who killed them. Well that might just lead to everyone thinking that I'm a cheater. Six and a half hours later. But at least now you guys know that I'm not and I am just that good in life that I learned how to shape shift like a chameleon. That is just how life goes sometimes, from time to time you win, and sometimes you lose. But when it comes to me, Sometimes I end up being a total boss and school everyone around here with my new wave tricks and all of that stuff. Oh god there is another guy coming at me. Maybe he did not see me. Oh never mind he definitely saw me right there. Well that is some kind of a bummer. But I am not going to pout over this loss. I am not sad. I am through sulking. I am not breaking. And I am definitely not buckling. But what I am doing is adapting. I mean it was just stupid of me to go out of hiding and go run around. I mean I might be slightly harder to see when I am standing against a stone wall, but I am literally just a running man sized boulder when I am not standing in front of a stone wall. So what should I do then? Well you are right. I should go about thing like my good friend Donald J. Trump also known as the president-elect of the United States of America and built my own stone wall and then just go ahead and stand in front of it all day in the hopes that no one will ever see me. Right now that would basically be the only way to actually get the most out of my new learned ability and actually make it worthwhile. Now I just need the money to build my own gigantic wall across the entire length of the US, the Mexican border, and I would be all said and done. Then I would just have to go stand in front of it and every time that someone comes along and and walks by me without seeing me. I would scare them and then just laugh my butt off while I sit in some corner and cry about my futile existence. But then again I will save all of that for another episode of Trolling with Sub that may or may not become an actual segment. You will have to contact my manager to deal with those things. But first we will need to deal with some other things. And by other things I mean the fact that I'm running around as one giant boulder because no one is coming my way. I mean the best way to go about the shape-shifting thing is to just wait for someone to stroll by unknowingly and then just strike them in the back so that they would have no idea what even hit them. But then of course I would leave them my card which says, You have been stabbed by Sub-Zero X to bite. YouTuber extraordinary and part-time shapeshifter. That would be a great business card. I should get some of those made just for comedic purposes, so I could troll people. But first we need to run as far as we can before it is too late and never mind it is too late. Well that did not go as planned. You know I was trying to get to those stone rock things at the end of it grass patch in the hopes that those guys would not see me as I went there. But I guess that I am all out of luck with that and I just have to be content with like third or whatever I was able to get. I guess that it is not that bad but you know, I just want to get the W sometime you know. I want to be able to get that win so that people actually know that I'm not just some kind of weirdo running around disguised as a stone boulder. I mean I probably look really stupid, and it is even more stupid to think that my disguise does not even seem to work properly. So I will have to make some minor tweaks to my playstyle but that can all be fixed without any trouble I can promise you guys that. I bet that I will be becoming a number one in this game mode rather soon, and we will see who will be laughing then. A small spoiler. It will be me. And I guess I will start that journey by throwing some eggs at that guy his head. That makes total sense right? Yeah that is what I thought. So first I will just start running I guess. Before I end up with my head on a stick. And by that I mean kind of dead. But talking about a stick. I was able to utilize some of my new abilities to actually morph into a tree bark. So you know now I can like hide behind trees and no one would know that this is actually my amazing body instead of a tree. I mean my body is so well defined it is like crazy. You could literally say that I'm as hard as wood right now because of all my gym exercises. So you know, 
I bet that people will not see a difference between me and a real tree. But it looked like that map was not really built for me, and you know I will have to be playing on my home map instead of some industrial stone map when I am disguised as a tree bark. So just do not mind that last game, just focus on the present and the future and we will just be alright. And by fine of course I mean that I will have to run for life. Which of course does not work out for me. Alright this just kind of blows right now man. I did not have to run there. I should have just been able to hide behind a tree and no one would have ever guessed that it was me right here. I mean I could have known that running was not going to be my strong suit when I am a tree. I mean would you expect Groot to win over Usain Bolt in a 100 yard sprint? No of course not. But would you expect Groot to win in a one on one fist fight? Yeah of course he would win I mean the guy is a 9 foot tall tree who can speak. And he is played by Vin Diesel who would also just kick your butt with no problem at all. But no of course of course I would have to go around and starting running like some idiot. I mean it is not like you are going to notice it when you see a freaking tree running through the forest. And no that is not some stupid metaphor. That was literally me like 30 something seconds ago. But I guess that I cannot be too mad at that. Just like I just said. Just focus on the present and the future and never let the past linger around for too long. I mean the past is like that one friend who asks if he can crash on your couch for a couple of days because that one guy will not do anything at all but be an inconvenience and drag your own life down. So you can see the past as an anchor, and I am fat enough already so I really cannot go around and be weighed down right now. That is just not something that I am actively looking for right now. So I will just cut the anchor loose and be a free man again and just go on and slay through these next couple of Sky Wars games or matches or whatever you want to call them right now. No way that he was able to see me like that. Oh my you have got to be kidding me right now. Of course he was able to easily see me like that right there. I am the wrong shade of brown to actually go along with these trees. Well that is just embarrassing right now. To actually think that I was just being bad all the time but the only thing that was bad about this is the fact that I morphed into the wrong type of tree branch or bark or wood thing or whatever. Okay so maybe I will just have to pull a double chameleon play style right now. Maybe that will just be the perfect thing to do. Let me explain what I mean really quick. So I have already tried going full tree mode and just stand around doing virtually nothing and that did not end up working. Now I have also tried to just go at it full hardcore mode and you only live one style going at it and that did not end up working as well. So I will have to find some kind of a middle ground in this meaning that I will have to somehow do some rushing sometimes, basically just play like I normally would. But in times where it is highly needed, and where applicable of course. I will need to just hide as a tree in the hopes that no one will see me. To me that sounds like the only way that I'm going to be able to win one of these and finally be done with all of this morphing because it is pretty hard and it is actually making me rather tired and annoyed rather than it makes me actually feel really awesome. I mean it does kind of make me feel awesome but you know, times have changed. And just like Darth Vader the suit is becoming a bit of a burden to me. Oh wait did I just actually say suit? I mean this is not a suit. Well that is kind of awkward. I promise you guys that I actually got the ability to morph into these two things instead of just buying two cheap suits off of eBay. And I'm not pranking you with that. At least I might not be pranking you with that. Who actually knows if I am pranking you? I guess you will just have to find that out on your own instead of relying on my honest man's word for that. But you know, I hope that you guys can trust me enough to actually believe that I really morphed into a tree instead of just buying some cheap body suits. Even though that might be a lot better than running around in a jungle disguised as a freaking oak tree because I am betting you that this will not work for the life of me. So let's just hope that some people are like really blind and have no idea what they are doing because otherwise I am going to be royally screwed right about right now. But it looks like they did not even see me. Or maybe they are just ignoring me because they pity me right now. Well in that case jokes on them because I do not need their pity party. Because I will ruin them all once they come close enough and do not actually see that I am hiding behind here. Which means I can take them from the behind while they have no idea that I am even in here. But of course I cannot stick around here for all too long right now. Because that guy is closing in although he did not see me. And is that really an arrow coming from behind me? That is not cool man. That is really not cool to go around and try to kill people while they are not looking. I know that these guys were above that. 
but it seems like they are ready to play as dirty as I am ready to. So let's play you fools. Alright so I will just sit my days out right here behind this tree and cross my heart and hope that they will not find out that I am just sitting right here camping like a meal. Oh wait a second she is coming for me. No way oh my god of course this happens to me. Well at this note I will just end our misery together. And I hope that you all have a great day.